What's up YouTube? Are you applying to Georgetown this season? Stick around for an updated breakdown. Thank you for joining me on my channel for the best college essay info. Definitely subscribe and hit that button so you don't miss a video. Georgetown University is broken up into four schools, but despite your track, they are focused on the pursuit of truth, community-minded endeavors, and intellectual integrity. I tell you this early on because we're gonna get into the supplements and you definitely wanna focus on this no matter the major you aspire to pursue. So there are four colleges. It's Georgetown College, School of Nursing and Health Studies, basically health sciences, then the Walsh School of Foreign Service, which is international relations, politics, and the School of Business, which offers business finance and all that good stuff. So here we go, prompt number one, this is for everyone. Briefly discuss the significance to you of the school or summer activity in which you have been most involved. So you gotta love Georgetown, everyone does word counts, they do half page, full page. So this is about half page, single spaced, approximately 300 to 400 words. You definitely want to show kind of of a beyond the classroom type interest, right? The question really is what have you learned and what have you been most involved in? Some students kind of drop a resume like kind of experience type response. And you really wanna show kind of that in depth practice of some sort. I would definitely do something beyond the classroom, right? So an extracurricular activity or summer project. I have seen summer programs, acting lessons to kind of teaching coding to 12 and 13 year olds. So kind of run the spectrum of academic and intellectual interests but you want to show something that you have kind of basically nurtured your passion, possibly even found a leadership position, solved a problem, an issue, and even kind of brought people together. So those are the three kind of that I would tell you, you want to nurture your own interest, bring people together and find leadership or solve an issue in your endeavors. So this is all about how you nurture academic or intellectual curiosity if you go kind of the more academic route. I have seen students take a five minute presentation on McCarthyism and do a three month independent study off beyond their typical class of schedule. So it could be something academic in nature, but what they want to see is that you go above and beyond, you take the initiative to kind of pursue and foster this interest. Basically, how does learning happen beyond the four walls of a classroom? I wouldn't go too far and say, all learning happens in the classroom because ultimately you want to get into their classroom, right? But you want to show that you are someone who approaches every opportunity as a learning opportunity. Prompt two, as Georgetown is a diverse community, the admissions committee would like to know more about you in your own words. Please submit a brief essay, either personal or creative, which you feel best describes you. This is one page single spaced. And again, which throws me off, right? Approximately 300, 400 words, depending on font size. So I would definitely kind of, for Georgetown, I'd be paying particular attention to the half page, full page, single spaced kind of parameters. Because you know, Georgetown is so cool and they're not on Common App, you are applying directly to their institution. They have their own kind of application that if you're here, you already know. But basically this is for the most part, could be an adapted version of your Common App essay. So I would approach it that way. They wanna see what makes you different. What drives you? What inspires you? What do you do to kind of make others worlds better? So what is the kind of qualitative component of you and your candidacy that will make you stand out? And so I would use this kind of space and it says personal, creative, you have options on how you can do this, right? So definitely kind of think about this being the more kind of creative, sensorial, descriptive, narrative version of like a common app essay. And many students that I've worked with or that I kind of go back and forth with, thanks to this channel, basically adapt their common app essay for this, or at least have the option to do so. They sometimes have a different essay and want to kind of use that, which totally cool. So these are the Georgetown University specific prompts. So for Georgetown College, you have what does it mean to you to be educated? How might Georgetown College help you achieve this aim? This is for sciences and mathematics or the faculty of languages and literature. For those specific, you should be mentioning your course of study, your major. I would kind of consider that anyways if you know for a fact what you are going to pursue. So I love this essay. I think that it kind of gives you the opportunity to show your smarts, but then also show your kind of creativity or the way in which that you kind of imagine your time living and learning in Georgetown. So yes, you want to kind of draw that fine line between that everything is a learning opportunity, but don't poo poo the classroom, right? The traditional classroom. You are kind of basically wanting to gain entry into their classroom, into their community. So former student essay topics, they went into a 
Socratic experience, the Socratic method in their classroom, or a contentious debate, or fostering a friendship with someone completely different than who they are. I think that was someone kind of completely different in age and experiences. A lot of students also forget the actual kind of second question embedded in the prompt, right? So how will Georgetown College help you achieve this aim? And so you want to think about maybe doing some of the why us type research, right? So what student organizations, what research projects, what courses will help you kind of advance what you are kind of aiming to pursue. So you really don't want to forget that second kind of dimension of your response because it is kind of bringing you to Georgetown, right? So how will they help you? And that's a little bit of the why us and doing that kind of research. For the School of Nursing and Health Sciences, here's the prompt. Describe the factors that have influenced your interest in studying healthcare. Please specifically address your interest, your intended major, global health, healthcare management and policy, human science, or nursing. So maybe you begin your supplement with an experience volunteering, you know, at a children's hospital or an elderly facility, somewhere where we can kind of see you directly engage with patients, have that kind of clinical patient care experience in some way. And it doesn't have to be you kind of within a medical capacity, but it could be you speaking kind of, you know, comforting a scared 14 year old girl before kind of a procedure or a mom or talking or shadowing a physician. So kind of what has been your experience within healthcare to whatever that kind of capacity or dimension is and how has that informed your interests? How has that kind of helped you shape your professional endeavors, right? So how has that been emblematic of your kind of chosen career now? So remember, and actually this goes for everyone, when you have multiple essays, especially for the same school, you wanna definitely change up the template, the format, right? So I would say kind of natural format where you have a nice balance of showing and telling, of story and reflection, is where you kind of start with an emblematic story and then you kind of have that reflection in the second half. But if you have three, four essays for a school, that kind of gets a little tiring because the reader knows kind of what the format is coming up next, even if it's a different experience altogether. So sometimes maybe switch that up or start with the definition of, some, of a word that is kind of central to the rest of your essay or kind of the reflection aspect and then end with your kind of mini story and that may be of interest. So this is for the Walsh School of Foreign Services. Briefly discuss a current global issue indicating why you consider it important and what you suggest should be done to deal with it. So unlike the health sciences supplement where it's a little bit of you and reflection but a little bit of why us, this one is showcasing your smarts. In my opinion, you want this to be a very kind of intellectually driven, you don't have to have research, although I see students kind of bring in research and studies and statistics, but they really want to see you kind of talk thoughtfully about a complex political international relations issue. You can have a personal connection to it, but most students kind of don't necessarily and can just talk thoughtfully about, you know, a topic. So yes, there is that second kind of to be of the question that says, what should happen to deal with it? So notice the wording in the prompt, what should be done to deal with it? You are not tasked to solve, you know, one of the greatest global issues of, of our time, right? So if you pick something big and complex, what they wanna see is process over outcome, basically. So how do you think through complexities and nuances? Don't boil down something to a seven second sound bite. They don't wanna see that. So they don't want you to solve something that has been kind of plaguing global politics for the last 40 years, but they do want to see kind of how you would kind of put certain kind of ideas in motion. And so how you kind of walk through an issue and how you would walk through kind of some measures to begin to deal with the issue. I've seen a couple of really creative essays that students have used kind of their model United Nations experience. So responses for this essay, well, they start with that and then they kind of go into kind of how they research the topic and it, it was very interesting so much so that they can kind of continue and what they've learned. So that's one kind of idea that, that comes to mind. Then you have the McDonough School of Business. It is a national and global leader in providing Providing graduates with essential ethical analytical financial and global perspectives this is our prompt please discuss your motivations for studying business at Georgetown remember what we talked about in the beginning of the video right intellectual integrity community minded endeavors and a pursuit of truth so those three things no matter the topic the track you definitely kind of want to come back to in some kind of way so this is basically in my opinion a reflection on like your philosophy of best practice 
practices within business, right? what your kind of footprint will be aspirationally in the business world. It is ethical, analytical, and financial perspective. So they kind of really give you a broad kind of parameter, but they want you to hit, that's how nuanced they want it to be. So they want it to be very specific, but you want to kind of have, in my opinion, it plays well when you have this kind of social entrepreneur type mindset. You don't have to, I'm not saying it's a must, but, but the way I've seen most successful responses here for this is that you have this kind of socially aware, community minded type approach to best business practices. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give us a like, um, comment below and say hi, or give me any questions you have about these essays or others. I'd love to engage with you guys and hopefully help out a little bit more. Have a good one, thanks, bye.